Hey, Virgo, this is Nikki. Let's see what messages I have for you tonight on your final reading. We have here and now, okay? It's not about the past. It's not about the future. It's about right now. Here and now, okay? What's going on with this here and now energy, Virgos? We have here regeneration, and we have our truth be told. Truth be told. Stop thinking about the past. Don't worry about the future. You think about right now. Because this is an opportunity for you to start re renewal in your life. Starting to make some changes in your life. Like right now. Start right now. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday. Right now. Okay. What is it that you need to do here and now, Virgo? What is it that you need to do here and now? You probably have been seeing fives a lot. Or nines, like nine, 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 five, five, five. You have here not trusting. It's like you're not trusting, you know, the future. Okay, be based on what you went through in the past. Listen, you can't keep looking back at the past and you have to learn how to trust the future. Okay. Stop looking back at the past. Because you don't know what we don't you don't know what tomorrow looks like. None of us does. Okay. Just right now. Trust right now. Whatever you're doing right now, Virgo, trust it. Okay, what are you doing right now? Put it in the comment section. What are you doing right now? Like me, I'm reading tarot. What are you doing right now? Watching TV, reading a book. What? Okay. And don't don't think about what the shoulda, coulda, woulda about yesterday about the past, about what you've been through, it's over with. Lesson learned, okay? Because you, because of what you went through in the past, you're stuck. It's like, no, I, I just, I can't do this. I don't want to ever be in a relationship again. I don't want to move again. I don't want to do this. I don't, you know, stop letting the past dictate your future. Don't even worry about the future at this point in time, okay? If this person never come back to me from the past, I'm not going to do this. And I'm not going to, you don't know what you're going to do until it actually happens. Okay. And so what you need to focus on right now is regenerating your income. Okay. Uh, some of you all, we have this page of pentacles. Maybe you're not thriving and growing. Maybe you're spending money in, in places you shouldn't be spending. Maybe you're overspending. Okay. But this is an opportunity for a, a change to come to regenerate income, to regenerate a healthy lifestyle for you, to just start making some major changes in your life. And, and it could be anything you know that needs to be worked on in your life, that needs to be changed in your life. Now is the opportunity to start. This is all about renewal. And sometimes you need to hear the truth whether you want to or not. You know, we don't always want to hear the truth, but sometimes we need to. Okay. Do you get it? That's what my mother used to always say to us when she was yelling at us about something. You're going to listen to me do what I tell you to do the first time. Do you get it? Uh, I'll I never forget how the tone of her voice when she said it. Okay. I'm going to clarify the regeneration card here for Virgo. Renewal. You know, somebody has told you something about your looks and made you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe you feel that you're not good enough. I just flipped through and I saw the tower. You feel that you're not good enough. You don't look good enough to do this or to that, to meet anybody. Makes you makes you feel uncomfortable. Maybe you've experienced some body shaming recently by, by bullies or superficial ass wipes or something like that. And you kind of let that get to you. You know, you got to let that go. Uh, you know, understand that hell, beauty is in beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Just because they said that negative to you. And it hurts you doesn't mean that that was the truth. Listen to your own energy. Listen to your own thoughts. Don't 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 allow what people said to you to hurt you. Okay, to take you down a peg or two. Nine times out of ten, they said it because they were jealous of you anyway. Okay, we have the ten of pentacles. Your finances are going to get better, definitely better. But some things you got to let go. You got to let go of the past if you want to experience all of this good stuff that's coming into your life. You got to let the past go. King of Pentacles is all about the money issue for you. Spirit wants you, This is what spirit wants you to grow, wants you to think about, wants you to thrive on energy around money. I'm hearing energy around new money. OK, and don't be afraid to hear the truth, Virgo. 
We may not like it, but hell, sometimes we need we need to be taken down a peg or two by spirit. Okay. Truth be told, what does Virgo need to know? Truth be told, what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Let me go at this King of Pentacles. I just feel like that there's some kind of negative energy between you and the way you spend money. Okay. You know who you are. You know who you are. We have the King of Pentacles, the devil, and, and the King of Pentacles. Um, probably watching porn. Uh, probably, you know, I don't want to say paying for sex, but possibly someone you know paid for, for to have. Kind of like, you know, like a sugar daddy or something like that. Or... or being with somebody, not because you love them, because you cared about them, but because you need that money to take care of the kids, to take care of the bills. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just telling you, you know, truth be told, let it go. <laughs> you know, if that's something that you did in your past, don't feel guilty about it. Don't hold on to it. Let it go. That was the past. Let the past stay in the past. Don't let it, don't let it affect you right now in the here and now in the moment. You did that to survive. You did a lot of things in your life to survive for yourself and for the kids. But don't let that don't let that hinder you from moving forward. Stay in the right now. What you you did what you needed to do because you needed to do it. If that makes sense, let it go. But it keeps coming back to you because you keep allowing it to. And people probably keeps they probably keep throwing it back up in your your face. Shut them shut them the fuck down. You know how to do it. You're a Virgo. Stay the fuck out of my business. That's my life. That's my past. Don't throw my past up in my face. Another thing, don't tell people what happened to you in your past because nine times out of ten, they're gonna nine times out of ten, they're gonna throw that back up in your face, Virgo. We got you being the Empress here or the Emperor. You know, pick up on that strong, strong energy of moving forward, but you're afraid to. Because you went through so much in your past, you don't know how to let the you don't know how to let it go. And open yourself up to what tomorrow will be. But don't worry about tomorrow. You focus on right now. This right now, this moment that you're in right now. My time right now, it is Friday the 24th and it is 8.41 p.m. Focus on the here and now. You can't worry about yesterday. You can't worry about the shit that took place in your life or what you did and why you did it, who did it and what for. Think about right now, okay? Okay. What other messages spirit, do we have here for the earthlies? Staying in the here and now. Virgo, you are staying in the here and now. We have here, not for you, tick tock. So time is, is ticking, you know, but, but the situation that you put yourself in so many times before you have the tendency to stay stuck in one place too long, one environment, much, much too long. You see that fortune cookie right there? That message, it says, nope, it's not for you. And it's so crazy, but I do have this fortune cookie this message here I had earlier, trust others, but still keep your eyes open. Trust others, but still keep your eyes open, Virgo. Y'all probably won't be able to see that. Trust others, but keep your eyes open. Okay. So uh, yeah, whatever situation you're in now, thinking about the past, that's not for you. Let it go. Don't let your life <clears throat> pass you by because you can't let the past go. You can't let what happened to you go when you were a child or what this person is jackass or this thug ass person did to you in your life. Let it go. If somebody did this or took something for you from you, let it go. <clears throat> Cause it's like a cloud over your head and you don't know how to let it go. Cause you keep focusing on it. Let it go. So you can move on with your life. Yeah. Let it go. And we have her soulmates. Don't miss, don't miss out on, on somebody who could truly be for you because you can't let that past person go. You can't let go of how much you love her, how much you love him and care about this person, whatever. Find a way to ease that pain in your heart and deal with it and heal so you can let the doors wide, so you can open up the doors for somebody brand new, a new experience in love. Get out into your community, meet new people. Let people, allow people to come into your community and meet you. It's because time is running out. You don't want to want to have any regrets when you're in your late 40s, 50s, 60s and say, I should have did this and I should have did that. You think too damn much. You think too much by yourself. 
well, I could have did this. I could have, I'm 44 years old. I'm 48, whatever years old. I regret not doing this. So I should have let him go. I should have let that trick ass bitch, thug ass dude go, whatever, a long, long time ago. But I stayed because I love that person. It's time to let go. It's time to say, you know what? I'm going to stay in the here and now. I'm not going to think about yesterday. And I'm damn sure not going to think about tomorrow because tomorrow's not promised. That's why we're in the present. That's what I need to be focused on, the present. It's time to let go. Okay, Virgo, what do you need to focus on at the moment? The here and now, what do you need to focus on? What does Virgo need to focus on here and now? Treasure Island. And we have a, a leg up. So you have a leg up, okay? You have treasures. This is what's being promised to you by spirit. You know, a spirit is, is always going to give you exactly what you need in your life when you need it, at what point, you know, it's always going to give you a leg up. You may not always have what, what it is that you want, but you're going to always have what you need. It may not be a lot, but it's just enough to cover you. It's just enough to, to cover you. It's not, it's like a blanket that, and it's really, really cold outside. That blanket is going to cover you. Spirit's love is going to cover you. It may not be enough to make you sweat, but it's going to keep you warm. You get it? It may not, you may not feel that it's enough, but it's just enough to make you comfortable. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get a final message for Virgo in the here and now. Focusing on the here and now. Not thinking about yesterday or tomorrow. We're focusing on right now. Okay. Time for a nap in the face. And we have clean it up. Clean up your thoughts. Clean up your mind. Let go, Virgo, of what no longer serves you. You got to. Change your thought process. Change what's going on inside that brain, inside so inside that brain, the brain cells. It's time to, to maybe take a nap if you have been having trouble sleeping. Like try to carve some time on a weekend to, to nap instead of running and lollygagging and doing whatever it is you're doing. Somebody's not getting enough sleep. Okay, for the kids nap, nap with them because you are fated for some good blessings, but spirit wants you to be faded right now in your glory right now. What's going on in your life? Focus on the right now. Yesterday, we can't get yesterday back and we don't know what the hell tomorrow look like. So what you need to do right now, Virgo, is focus on this very moment in your life and what you're doing and where it's headed. Round and round, because you don't want to be on the same roller coaster. You don't want to be on this roller coaster a year from now. We're not going to have this conversation a year from now, okay? I hope this message resonates. Talk to you later.